What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Chin Vlog. I'm Chin, obviously. Now, I know I've gone on about this. It's not TikTok, don't worry. It's about a certain couple of people in the, the group of uh, the UK Loves Chinese Takeaway Food group. Um, and you're right, I shouldn't let them annoy me. And they don't really annoy me, I should say, how it comes across when I'm ranting. That's what I'm internally thinking the second I see it. And then about three seconds later, I'm over it. Um, so long story short is, this, the guy that I really can't stand, he's just so obnoxious and constantly suggesting I don't know what I'm doing but not directly. That's what's so passive aggressive. It's so passive aggressive, most people can't pick it up. <laughs> but I can, because I know exactly what you're doing, you fucking prick. Anyway, yesterday, there was a post on rice, and I said, blah, 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 blah. This is, um, what do you call it? Um, Someone said uh, I, I, I used the measurements and it made it sound like those were the measurements that were in my book and they weren't. So I posted on there, these aren't the right, I've never said this, um, use these videos to help. And my mistake, because he put up a video of him going to the book and saying buy a rice cooker. So, I th and everyone else started doing laughy smiley faces at that. And I was like, no, I'm talking. Of course I say buy a rice cooker. I've just posted the video that says buy a rice cooker. It's in my book. I was talking about the measurements. <laughs> but anyway, he was, he was just like, oh, right, okay, yeah, I get you now. Um, so he used the measurements, uh, the, the, the thing that comes out of the book, not book, out of the rice cooker, instructions from the rice cooker. And I said, look, here's a video on it. Um, and it's just easy to follow because it's much easier to visually get, um, show someone how to do the finger trick <laughs> I'm a child I'd laughed at that how to do the finger trick um, vi visually obviously and uh, so I said that and then this Michael guy popped up and I'll show you what he put and he replied but I haven't seen it I've never read it but anyway I'll get to that um, so he replied this basically here um, saying see like to you guys that's nothing but I know for a fact <clears> through <throat> things he's said before that he's saying I don't cook and, like I don't know what I'm doing because I don't have takeaways I don't make lots of rice which is bullshit so as you can see my my reply <clears throat> And apparently he replied something back saying I was <laughs> and, and, and the thing is though I don't regret doing that because he is the worst and um, tries to backtrack and say oh no I just did it because you replied before so if I replied before and I'm showing people how to do the rice yet um, I haven't I didn't read it Lydia just I know Ed from the, um, the group gave me a rough outline of what he said back and I was just like, oh, whatever, I haven't read it, I don't care. Um, but he was trying to backpedal, but like, why would you say, it's just so, and to everyone else, I'm pretty sure no one could see it but me. Maybe it's in my head, but it's not. It's not. Because it's constant. It's, it's the whole green dragon flower thing. Well, if you're cooking it properly, oh, I know how to cook it properly. We've had an argument about that before. And then, and then you say, well, if you're using it properly, that won't happen. I'm just like, so from that conversation on, that first encounter we had, he's always, he's been very clever with it. He's never been direct. Oh, once actually, I'll see if I'll find the comment. He said to one of the um, Chinese takeaways on there, what are you doing here? You're much better than Goklin and Chin. Um, and I'm just like, well, hold on, I tell people that I'm doing bog standard stuff. So I called him out on that as well and he, he was, went quiet. I 
see if I can find that comment. And um, he's just a fucking ass. I say this isn't even the best way. He's just, and then I think it's because people don't see those comments. Obviously, why would they? He didn't tag me in them. It's because I go looking for his comments to make sure that um, he hasn't said anything wanky today. Which is actually every day. And everyone in the group <laughs> fucking can't stand him. I get private messages sometimes of people who don't even know I've got beef with him. Um, and go, that guy's a bit of a dick, isn't he? Yes. Yes, he is. Because he's a fucking twathead. I can't remember my original point. Oh yeah, that's it. So I, I just had to reply, you're the worst. Like, you are the worst. Now, <clears throat> I went to look this morning. I'm not sure if he's blocked me or he's deleted his comment. Because I try to search him and he does come up in my searches and I clicked on his profile and his profile does come up. So I think he might have deleted that comment, you know. Because I said it exactly how it was, and I've alluded to the fact that he does it a lot by you're the worst. And I think loads of people could see that. Um, so I think he deleted his comment. It's just such an arsehole. Anyway, on a lighter note, um, the takeaway happens today. Exciting stuff. I'm just doing the last, well, grabbing the last bits for it. Um, it was meant to be filming, but um, Mum was going down Paulock Way and she forgot everything. So I've had to go back in and do a second journey, which is fine. It just means that instead of getting two videos done today, we'll only get one. So we're doing uh, Wongi's smoked chili chicken, which I'm very much looking forward to actually. Um, yeah. So that that hopefully will be up on, for patrons within a couple of days, and then uh, on the main YouTube channel in about a week or so. really excited for the guys today. I think they're all super keen just to be back at work. It's been so long since they're back. They've been um, working. So I think they're super happy about that. What's the date today? Yeah, I know Adam, he's been in there for two or three days now prepping. So I'm excited. Sorry for them. I guess thing after it's, it's a novelty, isn't it? And then after a while, it wears off, and you're just like, "Oh, geez, I'm just bored. I want to be back at work." Because there's only so much Netflix you can watch. And being open again will help cash flow. So that's all good. Nothing really else to talk about. <laughs> just trying to think of things oh I know what after anti-life I finally watched that Bruce Willis film <clears throat> and honestly the, the I cannot believe how poor it is I'm a hundred percent sure if any of you guys <clears throat> play airsoft um, before you allow the certificate you have to get real looking guns they have to be spray painted um, like bright colours and I'm pretty sure the guns they were using on there were airsoft weapons and they weren't even using like it's because when they were shooting the hand was moving the gun <laughs> and I shit you know there's this one point where they're firing lasers and the lasers look like um, 
the same lasers from the original Star Wars, but worse. And that's, a, that's what, like 30, nearly 40 year old graphic? It is so bad and the script is so shite. There was nothing good about that movie and I cannot believe Bruce Willis put his name to it. The actors in it were shite as well. Like, not one I don't think had ever been to act. I'm 100% sure they just walked into McDonald's and said, anyone want to be in a movie? <laughs> one guy actually does look like Matthew McConaughey. I couldn't get over it, I was like, that guy looks so much like Matthew McConaughey, I forgot what Matthew McConaughey looks like. Um, but yeah, so, ratings out of 10 for Anti-Life, it's on Netflix, go watch it just to see how shit it is, honestly. It is roughly, I'd say a low two out of 10. I, I kid you not, it's just, there is nothing good about it. I mean, the final alien just looks like, you know, Stranger Things. <clears throat> There's that big red creature. Well, they, it looks exactly like that, except it's grey. So I'm pretty sure they've just re-sprayed the costume or whatever, or re-rendered it in a different colour to save money. It's bollocks. Absolute bollocks. I've got a, um, another GoPro coming so I can film out because recent summer's here, which brings the idiots out. So I desperately want to film the road as people do stupid shit. There is a, a video on Patreon, actually, that I managed to catch someone doing something stupid, like literally overtaking two cars in a blind corner because BMW driver because he realised that I was in a Porsche behind him. The second he realised that, he forgot how to switch gears and just stayed in like second. So I know what you're doing. You're just keeping your so you make your car look more powerful because you're just keeping the revs up, but your engine sounds like it's falling to pieces. It was fantastic. So patrons, that's going to be up for you soon. Um, no, it'll probably be up by the time by the time a patron sees this. It won't be up because this will be going up tonight. But by the time this has gone out, patrons would have already got that. <clears throat> I couldn't believe it, it was fantastic. Just going through town, it's actually quite quiet. I was expecting it to be busier. Normally, this time of year, it's heaving. But lens open? I don't know if it is or not. Okay, so I think... I'll call it a day there actually guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Remember, comment or, or at least hit that like button. Even dislike it. It's all engagement, it helps me out loads. So, yeah because the last couple of videos I haven't been getting many comments on at all. So the view has gone down. Could just be also that people are bored of my shit, which is fair enough, because I am basic. But anyway, cheers guys. Um, stay safe, this is the way, live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. Chin out.